More chilling images coming in tonight from Florida showing the widespread devastation after Hurricane Ian. Homes and businesses, resorts and marinas ripped to shreds. Tonight, the mayor of Sanibel Island says it's simply not habitable. Holly Smith calling it a different Sanibel. Across Florida, at least 79 people died in the storm and its aftermath. The majority of those deaths were in Lee County. Good evening, Southeast Texas. I'm Jordan Williams. It's good to be with you on this Sunday evening. You know, some of the worst damage appeared to have been caused by raging wind driven ocean surf that rushed into these coastal communities, washing buildings away. 12 News reporter Cameron Seibert is here tonight with the aid groups now helping with storm recovery. Cam. Yeah, Jordan, by now most people are familiar with the Cajun Navy. When Southeast Texas is hit with a storm, they're quick to respond and get here to help. Now they're offering that same support to the people of Florida. One of the biggest ways they help is by setting up a safe camp or also known as a swift action force emergency camp. They have one right now in North Fort Myers. You're seeing the video there. So many supplies. This camp serves as a command center and a one stop shop to assist all survivors who have been displaced. It's a mobile unit with everything you could possibly need to survive until the community can come back online. And those efforts are incredibly important because the damage is beyond imagination. Survivors telling horror stories still. It was insane. It was absolutely insane. First power went out, then the internet went out, and then the wind started kicking up. And it was, it was bad, but then it got to the point, she went into a back closet, and the south side of the house um, was actually bowing. I could more than 800,000 people still without power at this hour. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis saying more than 1,100 rescues have already been performed in Florida. He says they're still underway four days later. Cameron Seibert, 12 News.